What's up internet? My name is Zach Benjamin and today we're going to have a look at my song Skyline, how I wrote and recorded this song. Um, so this song first came out uh, 2018 I think um, and uh, it's it ended up being the first single off um, my EP Gargantia. Um, yeah, so the idea behind this song, actually this whole EP, the Gargantia EP, um, the whole album was inspired by like a lot of mecha TV shows. I was super into just like like anything mecha at the time, like Gundam, Gargantia, Gargantia itself. If you've seen the show, um, yeah, super inspired. For whatever reason, I was just getting my giant robot fix uh, at that time. So yeah, this this song in particular, Skyline, it was. Um, I wrote it while I was watching an episode of I Am Blooded Orphans and it's the bit where um, they're sort of like defending this base but like the, you know, attackers are coming. It's like a big military battle but the attackers are coming from every possible direction. So like from the sea, from the land, from the sky and they're trying to defend this base. Um, and yeah, this sort of just, um, yeah, it's imagine like you're seeing the enemy on the horizon so Skyline sort of became what it was um, after seeing that clip. Um, whether it gives off that uh, that vibe remains to be seen, but yeah. So essentially this song's broken down into three different parts. There's like a intro, riff, I don't know what you call it, it'd go intro, verse, it'd just be intro, verse, chorus, I guess. But there's a couple different riffs, so um, I'm, again, I'm probably playing it right now, but um, yeah, we'll start it off. So yeah, this first section, I guess we call this the A section or the um, intro section. <laughs> Nothing too crazy going on there at all. It's literally just like an open D chord, just like, and then yeah, and then just a pick scrape at the end. Of... <laughs> Same, yeah, just with the bass and the drums are doing that uh, punk, punk sort of style beat. And then... So yeah, this section here, I guess you'd call the verse. Um, again, pretty easy. It's literally three notes. It's the open, open D hammering onto the 10 12s just in like fast triplets. So they are. So yeah, not too crazy. Um, but uh, yeah, definitely a lot of fun to play. Underneath that, it's weird, the bass sort of, it's not something I typically do, but the bass is playing like power chords, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> oh, I guess that's going in the video. <laughs> So yeah, just channeling the uh, the inner Lemmy there. <laughs> Probably doing too much on the bass for what I should be, but yeah. I think this was recorded back when I saw the Axe Effects as well, so the patches are a little bit different to, um, you know, to what the sounds I've been using lately are. Um, but yeah, I mean, they're pretty similar anyway. It's just a heavy distorted guitar. I think it was a JVM patch, I'm honestly not sure. Oh, so I guess there is four parts to this really then, because there's intro, then there's the verse, this would be like pre-chorus I guess, so coming into the next sort of riff. So 
yeah, again, just heavy chugging um, and then doing the octaves and then slowly going down from there. So similar sort of thing on the bass, but we're putting gaps in where it goes to that high, higher octave on the guitar. would probably be the chorus here which is sort of like that main riff um, going into it from here this is the first time you hear it so a lot of the other instrumentation does drop out so I can just accent it but yeah from here So yeah, again, nothing too crazy going on there. Um, after it, after it does do that riff the first time in like what we would call the chorus section, it does. I do add a little organ in there, which, like, l listening back to it, like a couple of years later, this organ is probably like way too happy <laughs> to be in this song, like. I actually forgot about the delay, it sounds pretty cool. But again, in context of the rest of the song. So yeah, again, chorus drums, pretty similar to what's been going on. Yeah, fitting for the song, like this is probably like one of the heaviest songs that we play, especially because it's one of the ones in drop D as well. Um, we don't get that brutal, but um, but yeah, it's sort of more about the groove anyway, um, in my opinion, when you go for the heavier sort of stuff. So post-chorus here is actually the same as the intro, it's just that the, uh, yeah, you can have a listen. Yeah, this is that drum fill that sort of leads it back in. And again, back to that same sort of verse that we talked about before, there's like literally nothing different. I tell a lie, there is something different. The left guitar goes up the octave. Um, So in the first verse, the guitars were both the same. In this one, it was, uh, yeah, the left guitar goes up the octave. Actually, I just remembered, it's not a Marshall patch. This was the I Built the Sky patch that I downloaded. <laughs> and I was like, oh yeah, that's why uh, that's why it's probably a bit of a heavier song that was inspired by his sort of playing, or his tone at least, anyway. Um, anyway, we'll keep going. So yeah, same, same sort of diff there. So breakdown-y bit here again, but this time it, it's not as sparse as the first time around, like I was saying before, the first time. This time it's sort of heavier, the drums slow down, so you can have a listen. Drums 
really change it up there. So yeah, you can have a listen. So it's the... And following those double kicks there, we went faster on the um, rhythm guitar parts too. So the... So yeah, I guess you'd call that like a breakdown, as breakdown is, I get in my music anyway. Um, but yeah, going on from there, um, just straight back into that chorus, but this time it's a double chorus. So not too much the first time through, the second time, um, what, like coming up to the end, it brings in that riff from earlier. And there's also a sub drop here, but it has since been lost to the uh, depths of my old computer. <laughs> but you can have a listen. So the drums slow down to that breakdown sort of bit, and the extra guitars come in there as well. So it's literally playing both the guitars there. So if we have a listen to the left and the right, there's actually four layers, like it's all doubled, but yeah, so it's like. Yeah, so it's got the main riff as well as the breakdown riff at the same time. The, dr uh, the bass does go back to just doing the chugs while the drums, um, they go back to that breakdown sort of section as well. So yeah, all in all, this is probably one of the better drum parts of my discography, really. Um, a lot of the times my drums aren't too tricky because I'm not the best drummer in the world by any means, but... Um, but yeah, this one, the drums really make the song, like, because there's not too much going on in the guitars. Like I said, it's just those three or four different sections. Um, and there's not too much soloing or anything happening. The main sort of focus gets pulled by, um, by the riffs and then the synthesizer as well. Um, but there is bonus version to this song. So if we mute those fake drums, we actually have a recording of real drums done by Jason Fry. Um, and you can have a listen. So we play this song live heaps and a lot of times we'll actually speed it up really, really, yeah, way faster than what the track actually is, <laughs> which is a lot of fun for me. But uh, yeah, it's definitely one that he likes to play fast. So have a listen anyway. This is with the real drum. <laughs> Yeah, I won't subject you to listening to the whole song again, just with new drums essentially. But um, yeah, Jason really killed it doing this take. What I was going to say is, yeah, you do notice a bit where the timing uh, fluctuates between how we do it live and yeah, uh, on the record. But yeah, if you definitely want to hear Jason's version, jump on over to Bandcamp. Um, if you download the Gargantia EP, you get all five tracks, but the there's actually the bonus track. Um, which is Skyline, uh, but Jason's version of it. So you can hear um, the whole song with Jason playing the real drums as well. So yeah, definitely check that out. Jump on Spotify, have a listen to it there as well. And uh, yeah, drop me a line, let me know what you think and see how it sounds while I'm doing real drums. Um, yeah, if you haven't already, definitely uh, follow me on most of the social media. I'll be posting these videos everywhere. Um, and if you haven't checked out the new EP Glasswing as well, so it should be out by now as well. Um, yeah, check it out. Alright, peace.
Peace out, Internet. We will see you in the next episode.